happy morning my dear friends it is quite nice to see you in this uh, debating club so the topic today is uh, the women should be given equal rights or not see almost in this planet 6 billion people are living here almost half the population are females and males half the population is females and when you take all the living beings other than human being they give equal right a lion or lioness, tiger or tigress, cow or a bull. See, uh, they don't discriminate because they are females. But here, in this, uh, uh, coming to the point of human beings, we see the males dominating the female. The male chauvinism can be seen all around the world, not exactly in India or developing or developed or underdeveloped countries. Every country, every man, tries to dominate his female. When you take the cases in consideration, like rape, molesting, it is almost done by not outsiders. 90% of all the molestation, rapes are done by the known persons. Either they may be a cousin or uncle or grandfather, father or brother. This is what the crime against women happens. Death, dowry deaths, wife burning, wife beating, acid throwing. All these tragedies happen by the known persons. So what we shall do? In parliament, 33% reservation. Our male politicians, they are not ready to accept that. Nearly for the past 15 years, the resolution has not been passed, president permission has not been given, it has not come into force, law has not come into force. You take in military, or you take in Air Force, Army, Navy, or in private companies, all this type of male domination is there. So, a law is necessary for give the women equal rights. Even in countries, developed countries like America or in Britain, you find the male domination. So, what shall we do? Let India be a model country because we have gods in the name of females. Mani Lakshmi for education Saraswati, for health and wealth, it is Sakti. All the rivers are in the name of females. Most of the hill stations are in the name of females. We give such a lot of importance for females. But this is the country where we also find the most harassment is done to females by males. So we, do, we see the two extremes. We are not in the middle path. So what shall we do? So youngsters are here. Most of them are graduates, working people. They'll be discussing about what should be done. Should women be given equal rights? And for that topic, women should be given equal rights. Mr. Vendu Gobal, this left side, he'll be the leader who stands for the point. And here, right side, no, women should not be given equal rights. They are meant for a certain purpose. They are for taking care of the home, giving love and affection, so the children will be taken care and the duty of the male is to go and work. There should be certain restrictions for the females. And they stand for the culture and tradition. And he is the leader of this group. What's your name, sir? Madi Wanan is the leader of this group, saying that, yes, our tradition and culture is there, should be maintained. So let us start this group discussion. I request the leaders to see through that. Everybody speaks and take part actively with the present events, with the examples. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, one of the person, finally, I, may, I will conclude the entire... Uh, so today we have a wonderful discussion. The, the, the point is about in support of the woman or not. So we have the two sides. One side is supporting 
the, the, the woman should have equal rights everywhere. The other side, they, are sup they, they will be supporting. Uh, the men, uh, men will, uh, should have equal rights or not. No. No. There are many pros and cons everywhere. From the very uh, from the very beginning of our life, you see, in the family, a male number, member and female members are there. If a male member is dull, still they educate them. But if the woman is not, uh, is, if a woman is really good in studies and really she is having all sorts of abilities to pick up things and all, she is not given the equal rights. Generally, they encourage the males. The, they did not understand that the woman also can uh, can play a prominent role and they can also do wonderful things. So it should begin from the house that they should stop discriminating between the males and females. You see the good the golden woman called P. T. Usha. She has raised the image of India when India was striving for a, go a single gold medal. A ordinary woman, she has come from the sky from a, a tea a tea maker's daughter, a tea maker's daughter, Piti Usha. She made she made revolution and she showed to the world that a very ordinary woman can make a great contribution to the country and rise the image of the country in the midst of the world. So my dear friends, what I mean to say that the women should be given equal rights. How they will, how they can express, how they can prove themselves to be great without giving an opportunity. You must be knowing that the great, one of the greatest prime ministers of India, Indira Gandhi, has made a thundering revolution in the world. Bangladesh, the creation of Bangladesh was possible and only because of Indira Gandhi. Indira Gandhi has made a revolution. Nobody in the world could take that much of risk. And everybody kept quiet when she has made a tremendous thing. She has just contributed. She has just showed to the world that it is possible. So the woman is not ordinary. We should not think that a woman is a weaker sex. It is generally considered that a woman is a weaker sex. Because it is from the good olden days we are having that type of thought. That's a wrong thought. So we should also feel, we should give equal rights to women in all respects, and women can show themselves their power. Where in which, uh, where in which, which, uh, which department of woman is not doing any in any department, you can say woman has, has got some contribution. So it, uh, woman is also a part of any success in, a success of any sort of thing in the world. So my dear friends, again and again I repeat that the trend should change. The, the, what you call the golden feeling should go away that the woman is a weaker sex. She has, she has less uh, power to uh, contribute uh, or to do some great things. So with this, I will just uh, tell my other colleagues to speak. Okay? Now you can speak something. Good morning. Okay, no. okay. Uh, uh, thanks for... Uh... Hello? audible okay thanks for your argument but uh, i have uh, some few comments to counter argue your uh, points the first things we have given the equal rights to the woman what happens due to the, some technology development in the in india what happens the, the woman started to go for the bus and uh, take an example of the uh, information technology it people Women's because after the every weekend they go to the some pubs because of we are giving the so uh, let's say the for the IT uh, we have if you see the most of the uh, 50 more than 50 percent of women are working in the information technology field but they have given the more rights but what happens is they are starting to go for the pubs and they are creating some images that's the reason I am counter argue for the women should not given the equal rights. The second thing, we are talking about the dowry, everything. Who is the against for the women? So basically, if you look at the uh, broader input, the woman is the against for the women. Because she is the mother-in-law and she is asked for the dowry against for the women. So not for the men or uh, because men never ask for the women. Because of the other women, they ask for the dowry. 
Good morning, friends. This is Neha. And you, in our history, we have an uh, saying that in every man's victory, there will be a woman, woman behind him. Women are treated as a backbone of the family, but, not, but no one has a respect towards the women nowadays. And a long, and a long back, before independence, we fought, for, we fought for our country, for our India, with the Britishers. But nowadays, what we, we are fighting in, uh, in ourselves for the rights for the women. Um, although the Britishers left our country, even even if they if they uh, they gave our freedom, but still we don't have we don't have the rights with uh, we don't have the rights and freedom in our own country. So I oppose I oppose that men men is men became a dominant towards the women. So it so it must be stopped. Excuse me, like uh, yeah. this is Marvin. Uh, in my point of view, like women uh, don't want to give an equal rights like men because why I am saying like that means. First of all, that is a thing. Well, it is a traditional culture. They are spoiling a traditional culture because if you see, and later thing, and if you are giving, uh, if you are giving like equal rights to the woman, they are taking as a granted. Because if you see in normally, if you get a classic example, like if you see in a buses, buses there are like two rows are there. One is for women and one is for men. Okay, the men can sit like the woman can sit in both the things. But if a person like if a man is sitting on a woman's row or like that, they are fighting like anything because they want the right. Because if if we are giving more and rights for the women, they are taking as a granted. So in small thing itself, they are doing like that means if we are giving all the things as an equal rights, they will take like upon the head for that. You see, first of all, generally in India, we consider women as a sex object. Just whenever you see women, you just see the sex. Why not you see the quality of the woman, what she can do, how she can, how she can be helpful to a society, what sorts of uh, greatness, uh, the great things she can do, all these things they don't evaluate. They just, just, just look at your, now I can now also assure you that 19% of the men look at your woman as a sex object. But I, sex is happening because of them only, because if you see in me media, like movies are is be happening. The actors, they are coming in a dress like two pieces or something like they are is becoming. Okay, they are temptating us. Because of that only, we are thinking the woman as in that manner. Hello, I want to, I want to make an amendment in your class, this one you are saying. See, all this, uh, whatever you are telling about that, uh, that dresses, business and all, these are all happening in film. The film is made, why, why the people make film to make money? They are forcing the women to dress like that. Otherwise, they are not getting a chance. They are not paying money. So some people who are, uh, what you call, who are financially weak and all, they take this type of, this one, this type of uh, postures and all, they do all these things. But in reality, no woman is ready to show, expose herself. I am, I am so sure that a woman will not expose herself. What you are telling is like, like money is an important thing in our life. If we give money, whatever we can do. That yeah. is the thing you are going to expose. No, I'm, I, I don't say. You see, there are always exceptions. Some women, you see, there are good and bad everywhere. It, it cannot be 100% good, it cannot be 100% bad. I said that some women who are economically back, I am talking about such women, I am not telling that every woman is like that. So what happens, they are forcing, the producer is forcing the woman to underdress, to have, uh, uh, and uh, they are forcing, uh, and uh, they are just to make money and all, they are doing all these things. So actually it is a glamour, the film industry is a glamorous world. So in the glamorous world, they are just trying to find out the weakness of men. So the men, men, men is generally weak, I am not telling all, most of the men are weak, so they are trying to show all these things and all, and some people, uh, it does not mean that all the women of India or all the other normal women, they are also interested in that, even many women are against all these things. It all happens in film and all, which, which are all some, um, um, some cases here and there. But you should not uh, consider that all women are like that. You don't know that the, all the men are seeing like women as a sex object. Same thing as an example. It is not with all the women, they are seeing that women as a sex object. Uh. Some of the women only. Yeah. You don't know, some of the, some of the men only, they are seeing like that. Uh. You don't like some of the women only, they are acting because of their... Uh, uh, like poverty or something like uh, that. Uh, the main thing, that is only. You don't, uh, you don't tell like all the men are seeing the women on a sexual I said, uh, just a clarification, I said most of the men, I said most of the men, they look at a woman as a sex object. Most of the men I said. 
I already before also I pinpointed that there are always exceptions. I told you, good and bad people are there. So I never now also I say that some exceptions are there, some sort of. But we are always considering about the majority. No, what I'm saying in the past we told like uh, yesterday uh, uh, my friend gave an example. Yeah. Yesterday like the woman they will not wear blouse itself. Okay, uh. at that time also we have given a respect to the woman. Uh. Okay, by seeing that. And uh. but nowadays if you see the women are coming on that manner like showing their like. Uh, bodies are like that showing uh -huh. their respiratory organ because uh -huh. of that only we are thinking on that uh -huh. okay for that because generation will be differs after like if you see now if you see for example if you are going for a computer computer uh -huh. technology is going on different different beyond that generation uh -huh. okay meanwhile on that basis only they are clothes and means by there are is be different uh -huh. okay. it is like harm uh -huh. problem we uh -huh. can't able to tell anything about that but generally you see a man whenever he approaches a woman so is we are, we are, uh, the intention is something different the woman thinks that he may marry me that is why she becomes very close to her close to that person but that person has got different intention just she is, he is using her for a temporary purpose then just uh, relinquishing her these are all the things we are actually seeing in life so in reality with a depth of heart they are not loving a woman just they are just a, a time pass and just to, after en getting some enjoyment and all they just leave her but who is the sufferer the woman is the sufferer because the woman loses the name not the man the man just go, goes scot free and uh, all the burden they say that the woman actually she believed him she believed that person and he is duping nowadays uh, we are seeing on the street everywhere and all a man is having so many lovers why just to pass on his time just to kill his time just to what you call enjoy and just woman you should not treat uh, treat as a vegetable they are not vegetables they are all also having consciousness the man should think that that's what i mean to say that if you love a woman love her purely don't just love for the sake of enjoyment that is what i mean to say what you are going to say for this purpose no, what i am saying that you are telling like man is having different lovers yeah. it is now it is like totally applied like we see women they are having different lovers you can give a simple example sarat kumar radhika you know about the sarat you see kumar. these are all film people okay no no, no, no. what i am saying that it is also an example uh. they are also living in a home and they are leading as a husband and wife uh. but radhika it is like the fifth husband uh. that is sarat kumar uh. for sarat kumar it is like third wife mm. like we see radhika only taking a lead Mm. It is happening now, mm. right? You can't able to tell like only that boys are having like more lovers. Girls, girls, they are doing now. Mm. If you see like girls, when when we are loving, when we are both we are loving, mm. that it is happening. The love it is breaking because of girls. Mm. Yeah, because the girls will be telling like, and after when I I want to go with my, I want to discuss with my parents. After a long, after a long, they are going to discuss with my parents. So I will be lifting you. Yeah. Who are going to suffer? Only the men's are going to suffer. Yeah. Right. But these are all. You see, there are. I al already. I'm again in. Insisting, and I, I, I repeat again and again, there are cases. No, no nobody is hundred percent perfect. We are, we have to always take the majority. What is happening in majority? That is what our consideration is. But I am talking, I am telling that the majority of men are loving women just for the time pass. That is what I mean to say. Majority. I am not telling all. It is like it is in your point of view. Don't yeah. mingle like all the men are doing like that. All the women are like in your point of view. That is. But it is happening like all the women they are doing like that. Why I am telling you so so uh, uh, determinedly because. the woman has got that different type of thinking generally whenever they, they exactly. uh, yeah no, the woman have no, different type of thinking different take at the see a boy he is not satisfied with the boy he will be going to another uh, that is a different no, no, type of thinking no no that right? is, what i mean to say that the woman whenever whenever she whenever she feels like loving somebody first of all a woman will evaluate that person whether he is worth loving or not okay. so once he loves then at that time she is uh, loving him now determinedly woman, now, now excuse me just till, uh, just listen to me she will love with whole heartedly at that time if that man is duping her at that time this is what i mean to say that the woman is choosing a man then afterwards if she believes him and uh, all sorts of good things happening suddenly that man after seeing another girl he just leaves this girl now woman is seeing now woman is seeing like whether he is having love on me now she is not seeing like that because yeah. we she is seeing because she is seeing whether he is working in a good mnc company he can earn like 40000 or something like that mm -hmm. and because of this 40000 because he is like he is loving only his position and his money not loving mm -hmm. him is he again what to tell you now position is on it is a different part 
position, money, and all is a different part. But in addition to that, human has got a feeling. That also you should understand. Human has got feelings. So we are not just commodities. We are having human beings. Blood and uh, blood and all sorts of things are flowing in our on vein, in our veins. So we got feelings that uh, uh, that uh, we have to love a person with a full willingness. Otherwise, not to love. So whatever you are telling, it is in past. Now, if we see current scenario, it is happening like that. I am having more and more examples. No, I, I, again, I told you, I will tell you that I am talking about the general mass of the that people. Is I'm also the general mass of women are not like that. That's what my argument is. Uh, hi, friends. Uh, actually, we got a freedom of computer about 60 years, but still we are. Still, we are fighting a uh, woman's rights. Uh, Thirty-three percent is still not a completed. I don't think so. Why they are still uh, stopping? They are don't don't give do give rights to women. So women. women. So we the, but in modern world, women are in field in lot of places in army, police, and everything everywhere is there. But still, they are fighting in thirty-three percent. I, what my thought is, we need to give more than not 33, we give more 50 percentage of women, so that only India will develop in as soon as possible. Still, we are, they are thinking in India you need to develop, develop, but we give equal responsibility to the women, that time only India will grow as soon as possible. Hi folks, actually I am against you for, for giving the 50 percent of uh, women. So what happens, you know, uh, if we are giving the 50 percent uh, 50% uh, nomination to the woman. What, uh, uh, what happens? They they are not able to concentrate the family as well as, as, well as the official official work. What happens? Suppose they want to extend their timings in office because we cannot demand those work from the women employee. But uh, if there if is, this is the men employee, we can. But men employee can stretch their work up to the some night times or uh, some extended no, support. Like, but no, wait, wait. Actually. We, we have women see a lot of anywhere in the road contract, a lot of women working in the road. They are putting road and then street. And then if you go to government office, a lot of women working in government office. And if you go to MNC company, lots of women working in MNC company even day and night. And that's what, same that's time what they I are am, taking yeah, care of family what, also. Yeah, that's what I am arguing because how they are struggling in the IT field. But that is not struggling. They are, they are they are own interest. They are improving family. themselves. No, that's what I am saying. They are not able to concentrate uh, concentrate family as well as the official. Because in the official they are getting the, some bad names because of they are not fully uh, concentrated on the family. Be, what happens if the male employee easily grow in the IT field? But uh, no, you, are, you are talking about family only. Family is a part of the life. So you should, uh, women can uh, taking care of family as well as work. That is the, her talent. They will imp they will co concentrate on both the family as well as uh, work. They will improve. If you see a lot of uh, women who are uh, sports, you take sports, the Saina Neval, they are playing uh, tennis and then as well as uh, uh, taking care of family. He, she is uh, still playing. So it's not a possible to... You see, one more point I want to uh, bring this uh, forum. The thing is, what happens if we, we are giving the 50% reservation in the foreign countries? What happens in the foreign countries, most of the... Uh, a diverse happened because of this because uh, their, their culture is entirely different they easily ke, in our indian traditional the normally the woman will be a homemaker and they, they take care of the child education and other activities but when we adopt the foreign culture what happens that the same culture will spread across the our india now you can see so lot of actually lot we, are, of we, are, we are thinking of india we need to develop india need to develop if you, no, no, if no, you no, still this, we are in a family a small circle how will you get india developed so we need to give equal responsibility to women and then men. Then only we can concentrate in the work as well as family. You, you, need, you need to also support the family. You do not depend upon the women only. Always women taking care of family. You should come with family and take care of family so that only she will develop, that India will also develop. You see, uh, uh, basically the women have the some uh, medical transfer, have the some patients and uh, they take care of the family and all. But uh, normally the men doesn't have the... No, no actually, in you know, olden days they don't have that much of medical facilities. So women can't go outside. They have some um, um, problem is that, that nowadays there are a lot of medical res, avail, medical facilities available. So women can also uh, working in night shift, day shift, they can take care of family if any medical problem, they can... Uh, accept. That's, they will, that's not a big problem no, for no, nowadays. That's what I am arguing. How they are struggling uh, with... Uh, that is not struggling. It's most of the time, most of them, that do, uh, some families don't have girls. They only have men. So that man also taking care of family as well as work. That is not struggling. That is a duty. 
there is not a struggling but uh, but but the men will not work any work at a home right because uh, most of the work will be done by the any other persons in at home right no actually in few, a few days back the toilets and bathroom everything is a uh, common so that time women uh, men nowadays uh, all are in, in our home this is attached so women or uh, men the, anyone can do any work so not a specific this work do only for women this work do only for men we don't have any partiality we can do everything that time only so family also also grow and our india also grow that's correct but uh, one point i want to bring this the uh, most of the divorce happen because of the uh, women and uh, there is a, some ego problem no. happens because the women's uh, going to the office and uh, there is a clash between the men and the women that's the reason we are most of the times we are adapting the foreign culture and uh, if you see the uh, record for the first few years we can see the ratio of the divorce in india has been substantially increased so the Divers is not say, divers is a, tell you this that is, is that is a misunderstanding no, for no, two persons is, that not for clearly, a, we are talking about the no, no, rights we are that is that why government not giving a 33 percentage for the women so we are needing more than 50 percentage that's why we are asking we are divers and family issue that is all no, apart no, this is the we are talking about cost. why no, no, they are not because providing because the, the percentage cost. of this is the root cause we are given the 50 percent of the any any private or public sectors this is the root cause of the divers in india sir if you go to internet we have lots of websites there some websites are abuse sex abuse some websites are good abuse you can uh, uh, control the internet it's not possible if positive is also the negative is also there so you can uh, control the 33 percent we don't give for if, if you give provide the women will go to some other else, that's not a possible we are asking for 33 percent it may be some points uh, negative or some points of positive we are concentrated only positive things okay one more point is if uh, the woman is going to the office or somewhere uh, so it is additional income to the family yeah but the main that is the support the main, for it's a main essential income for the family if one man goes to the family will run without any issues but if you uh, women uh, women is going for the office is additional income there there yes, they, they can live with a sophisticated life that's all yeah that's why we are arguing with you so if you give more but, but the same <laughs> work will be given to the uh, man the entire family will get benefited no not like that uh, that's why i said if uh, some some families do, doesn't have girls only men so what that time also the men can taking care of family and then uh, providing uh, child everything in if you have a uh, woman he will give support to you he is he is a very moral support so he will taking care of family and husband and uh, everything family surroundings also if you give support then only they, she will grow so you provide 33 to 50 percentage she can take uh, lead india to somewhere else if you take the uh, chief minister she control all over the state so she is a very powerful woman if you give more uh, support to uh, ladies she will support everything Uh, good morning uh, this is vaishnu i'm going to support for uh, against uh, women's rights uh, india is good for uh, uh, culture and traditions because uh, uh, more more foreign people are like our culture Be- it is good it is good be- because of good only they are liking our culture uh, in the name of independence they are women are uh, women are uh, destroying our culture and traditions um, Uh, if we take uh, we are giving more rights to women uh, there are great leaders uh, great leaders like uh, uh, indira gandhi sonia gandhi and uh, uh, jayalalitha ram pt usha uh, kalpana chawla there are more 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 women we are giving more rights if we give if we give more right means more rights means they are misusing for example um, uh, for example if we if women complain about uh, men is if this thing means uh, there are severe actions for sh- severe actions for men uh, if if women complain about uh, dowry dowry complaint means uh, there, there are uh, the, the the punishment is uh, severe so uh, it in the name of independence they are destroying the culture if we if we see uh, most of the women who are in, who are working in uh, it field uh, they are uh, they are uh, not in uh, they are not following our culture they are they follow foreign cultures they 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 go to uh, pubs uh, everything if you see in good order 
good olden days the women's own come out of the home after 6 o'clock but nowadays they leave losers they will go they go somewhere wherever they want and they come late nights they spoil the entire culture of a, of a country so they should not be given rights you can think that it's an just a, it, it is just a refreshment no why are thinking they are spoiling the culture following western culture it, it, it doesn't mean that they are uh, not following our indian culture it doesn't ruin our uh, indian culture it's a it's a good thing that we we can know new things and all from other countries and wearing that western dresses it doesn't mean that uh, we don't follow we don't respect our uh, indian culture okay we can we can get we can know what uh, trends and new things upcoming things about uh, up- upcoming things from the other countries so the outer the outer appearance is not an exact replica of the inner view of a person we can't estimate by the outer appearance so we we have to go on with the society we should not stop in the in in where you are we have to go on with the society and you have to know the new things uh, in olden days you, you can see the diverse rate is too low but uh, because of uh, uh, giving giving rights the diverse rate is high uh, and uh, what do you said uh, mr nega yeah. what do you said point i can't get you uh, because of not fo- not following the olden culture uh, there are a lo- lot of uh, uh, rapes are happening in in our country because of not following that only there are uh, these things are happening in, in our country women's means purity so only lots of rivers are named in women's name so they should be pure like opati and if you take and ramayana san mahabharata lot uh, many women are there sita like that nowadays no no women are like that living relationships is also is also an uh, not an bad thing because being in living in relations before a marriage you can you can uh, uh, know a person whether he is good or not whether he suits for your uh, way of thinking or not so i i support that uh, uh, following a western culture is uh, e- it is a uh, better choice if you see in a- ancient periods the greatest wars on downfalls of empires have been brought by women because they are weak genders and uh, like sita and ramayana draupadi in mahabharata and helen of troy in greece eva brown and hitler's mr X- mistress etc they break nuclear families and uh, the name of independence of women uh, they neg- they are neglecting their families in the past days in gandhi uh, gandhi ji's wife kasturi bai gandhi uh, she was the backbone of his husband gandhi ji without he, without her uh, he is not able to fight 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 with the britishers so she acted as a backbone to the gandhi ji and she support she gave moral support for him so that he got succeeded in getting a freedom for our, uh, for our country india and even we have an example of uh, lakshmi ba- lakshmi ba- lakshmi bai because she fought with um, she fought uh, alone without her husband uh, uh, holding her uh, son behind on her uh, back uh, she alone fought for the, for her uh, uh, country so this is an best example that uh, women is not an weaker thing okay they can do what what they what they whatever they think they can do it by themselves without without any support a uh, female infanticide uh, that there is uh, no girl or babies are killed off nowadays because that they are the many peoples are taking it the precious thinking to take them and take care and so much equal rights who given for men and women for uh, marital affairs drug addicts and me- mental disorders uh, Uh, dear friends we had a wonderful discussion
and coming to the conclusion part what should I conclude it is generally accepted the males want to dominate the females it happens all around the world we are not ready to give our property equal rights to the females if it's our father's property we don't uh, like to give share our property with our own sisters so what is the solution for this 50 percentage proper legal reservation for females in government job in private job in ancestor properties in the social life in the name of marriage the male wanted to keep the females as slaves they want to dominate they want to dictate terms so marriage as an institution is a failure let us stop the institution as marriage marriage should be banned and those of them who are married should get divorced marriage should not be permitted men and women should have equal rights they should live a life of equality if they want to produce children let them produce the children and the children should be taken care by the community the community all the children you know most of the children they are getting mentally disturbed because of the parental fight which they see between their father and mother so equality in the brought up the males and female children from the young age so the marriage it shows some separateness all the evils are done in the name of marriage dowry deaths wife beating molestation the drunkard husbands coming and uh, spoiling the family culture family atmosphere so and for divers if they apply it gets late as it throwing honor killing there's one thing a girl should marry in the same caste a girl should a boy should marry in the same religion so he cannot go outside that if he goes outside that arena then what they do they go for honor killing the girl or boy then one other thing is that if a girl or a boy get committed then later what happens the girl or boy if they want to change their partners either they are killed or acid thrown that is the that is one of the greatest evil so here equality between men and women in all spheres of life socially economically culturally traditionally let us throw all the traditions the past is past let us make a new tradition this is the country which created Kama Sutra where even Western people follow this is the country where we see Panchali marrying five husbands and people accepted her as equal to Kanaki and Sita this is the country where we see where we saw Kunti almost giving birth to five children from five different uh, whether it is God or male whoever it is but she has given five children from five different men so our Indian culture never suppresses female never allows female to be a slave they have given in fact more rights than men so the solution here the conclusion part here is male and female they are equally important for this society in this planet let us have a wonderful atmosphere by giving rights to the females you see in cabinet Indian cabinet 90 percentage of males you see the our state cabinet 95 percentage are males where are the females 10 standard results in state government here nine girls have topped 10 standard 12th girls have equally top like boys so in the name of uh, I mean in uh, education 
in competition ias ips competition exams you find all the females equally coming so why not give them 50% reservation and let all the chauvinism male chauvinism go and to do and we shall make a society where men and women are equal let india be an example to be followed by other countries so this is the country where we salute women we respect women after the delhi rape case what happened all the foreign countries have issued a circular stating that india is a country a rape country delhi is a capital of what capital a ra rape capital indians all indians are rapists